Hello everyone and welcome back to Into the North Star, our Sims 3 Supernatural Family Legacy! And things have been just changing non-stop for our wonderful alchemist warlock Darian and his fairy daughter Zelda. Oh my gosh, so last time we managed to not only move in with Gina, but we also got a new kitten named Cloud so that poor Soot will have someone to play with. And then we decided that Gina's beautiful home where she was raised by two lovely spinsters who found her as an orphaned fairy as well, which is a great way for Gina and Zelda to really bond right there. But we found out her home was a little too small for raising our budding family, especially because it will probably get a bit bigger. So we are now moved. We have moved into town. We have moved into what is now the North Star Manor. It took everything we had. Gina had to sell her boats. We had to end up selling so much of the stuff that was in her home, but she was okay with it. And she was okay with it because Gina realized, you know what? I want to live my life. Mom and mom were awesome at raising her and giving her a sheltered life that a little fairy could want. But, you know, in the end, she wants to be with the people now. In fact, she wants to be so with the people that I realized her aspiration is magic makeover. I've never even heard of this one, so this is really exciting. The fairest of fairies know that everyone could use a little inner beauty, but it also takes the charismatic fairy to really know what inner beauty is. Teaching Sims about their inner beauty won't be easy, but it's a lesson well worth teaching. Spread the beauty and everyone will have a better day. Grant 12 different sims inner beauty. Reach level 10 charisma. I have no idea how to do that, so that's going to be pretty exciting. I'm assuming it's a special adult fairy interaction, and I've never actually really looked. Let's see, special fairy pranks, pester, talk about flowers, tell a fairy tale. Yeah, never really looked to see what kind of cool things she could do as an adult fairy. So that's going to be really fun. But we are now here in the center of town because Gina's old house was way out here. It was far away. I mean, you had to take a little boat to get to the bus stop because they couldn't just go up here. It was totally, totally secluded from everything else. I thought it was off of this main road. Not at all. It was completely completely on the edge. So now, even though it's really scary because Gina's a bit of a coward trait, and so this is all, oh, lots of changes, lots of changes going on. Now they live right there in the center of town in one of the most lovely houses. It's a really nice house, and it's definitely an upgrade from the itty bitty little shack home that we started in that had holes in the roof and everything. So thanks to Gina's contribution, we now have an absolutely amazing home and I'm totally in love with it and I can't wait to show it off to you guys. So it is a three-story absolute marvel and we'll start down here. We'll start on the first floor actually which is actually up here and we have some pumpkins. A lot of it came furnished. I sold some things, redecorated with some other things. Uh, because Gina does work in the science career, she is a carnivorous plant tender, level 5 in the science career, and because she does work in the science career, she does want to have some technology around, even though our lovely Darian happens to be a little bit of a technophobe, so he's he's not so happy to have like a TV and a phone and some of Gina's sciencey things in, but you know, relationships are about compromise and finding uh, you know ways to make everyone happy, so Darian's okay with it because he's got his own little nook, and I'll show you guys where Gina Gina and Darian have their own little spots to go and focus on in just a moment. But we've got our little living room with our little cat scratch bench so that our lovely, adorable little cloud who can totally play with Soot. I totally want her to play with Soot. Okay, let's nuzzle Soot. Well, actually, that might be too upfront. Let's try, let's try uh, just gentle socializing. Let's sniff and socialize. She's very, very friendly, so she can increase her friendship relationship with Soot very quickly which would be great. It'd be adorable to see their kittens one day. But we've got their little scratching post right up here and their little toys up here. We even have a little feather toy, a little feather dangler toy right there. The litter box is in this bathroom right down here, which is going to be very useful for the cats. And they actually have a full kitchen now. So it's very nice. Darian wanted to sell everything in the kitchen because he figures he can just conjure apples and Gina and Zelda can just drink fairy pollen. But uh, Gina put her foot down and said, no, we're going to have a normal life. A normal life that involves, you know, being a warlock and being fairies. But, you know, she likes to kind of pretend. Her parents kind of raised her to have the idea of a bit of a normal life, you know? 
trying to kind of hide her fairy aspects. Not really deny them, but not really, not really do the free-spirited fairy thing that Zelda has thus far had in her life, where she doesn't even have a curfew. She's not even watched over half the time. Darian is just like, you'll take care of yourself, right? And then we've got the little lizard terrarium, which is currently empty because we have lost all of our pets. So sad, Zelda. I'm so sorry we did lose the little snake that Zelda had because it slithered out of her inventory while she was snoozing. So sad. But then downstairs, we actually have Bonilda. And we are going to awaken her in a little bit. And she's going to help us out here in the house, taking care of everyone, uh, kind of cleaning up after the cats, tending to the cat's social needs, taking care of the family in the background so Darian and Gina can focus on other things. We've got all these awesome, look at this, look at this. Isn't this just the coolest? I mean, look at this. That just looks so awesome. And that reminds me of that like Day of the Dead movie that just came out that I think it looks really good. It's like a nice similar art style and everything. But yeah, so we've got our little hallway. And then if we come right in here, in fact, dun 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 dun, there we go. This is actually with the lovely purple, since Darian and the lovely Gina both enjoy the color violet and purple. This is their little bedroom. And that crib is just there because that is the crib that Gina had to sleep in back at her home. That's her, her heirloom crib, and there is nowhere else to put it. So conveniently, it's in the master bedroom where they can stare at it every day and go, hmm, I am a nurturing trait, and I am family oriented. Maybe we should put a baby in that crib. So that might be a goal they have coming up soon. And then of course we've got the master bath with a nice spooky ghost mirror and nice, nice cracked tiles and everything for everything else. Might as well just like shimmy over in camera mode to everywhere else. No, it's taking too long, taking too long. All right, and we've got another bathroom which is gonna be very useful for our lovely little, lovely little Zelda to use. I love how big this house is. And then here's Zelda's room. It's a nice little room where she can start decking things out nice and simple, but she kind of likes it like that. The grass-colored carpet might incline her to come and, and actually hang out in her bedroom for once because she never does that. And she has her little costume chest so she can transform into probably a Tyrannosaurus Rex or princess because she is a ballerina, even though she really wants to quit. And we do still have her opportunity tonight, her ballet recital, so we're going to have to hit that later. And then she's got her little her little statue that she got from going on her field trip. She missed a day of work or of school, so she missed that. And then in here, this is Gina's room. Gina, as a scientist, and especially as a coniferous plant scientist, likes studying plants. She loves gardening, and she loves studying plants. So she has this awesome room to work in, and this is the compromise that she was willing to sell all of the things that she had and get rid of all of her family heirlooms, more or less, so that she could sell her mother's home and move into town. All those big, scary life changes with the new love of her life who just swept in swept her right off her feet quite literally because she's a fairy and what she got in return is her own little laboratory where she can come down and research science she can tinker she can do some work down here she can grow some plants if i can ever figure out how to use these things and then she can just enjoy like her little sciencey room she's got an awesome little bust of one of her mothers just sitting right in here one of her very her plant loving mothers right there She's got a really cool, really cool tree, petrified wood tree. She's got an ancient computer. I mean, it looks like it's carved out of stone. So this is Gina's laboratory, and technophobe Darian doesn't go in there very often, but Darian actually has his own place upstairs in the attic. He's got all of this kind of awkwardly shaped space, but he doesn't mind, for him to do his alchemy studies in, and he's keeping it very low-key. It's all gas lamps and just really simple lamps that don't add too much of that fancy technology stuff in here. And then he's also got his little shelving where he's gonna be, uh, let's see, open inventory. Yeah, he's gonna be putting his things in here. What can we put in here actually? Like put away gems, put away elixirs, nice. We might put away his elixirs in there. So he's got his little alchemy station that he's gonna research at, very nice, very nice. So it's totally his new place and I think, uh, He's gonna like it. We'll fill this up with all of his little experiments and everything. He even has a little spot to come out when he's feeling like brooding, because he is a brooding sort of guy, and he can just stand here and stare out at the town, 
look across all the houses and things and brood. It's perfect for them. It's just perfect. Look at that perfect brooding location. We still need some gargoyles to stick up here with them. <laughs> that would be amazing. And then finally down in the backyard, we have our bees, which we have hauled to two houses now. We have Zelda's little fairy house and we have the awesome tree house. It's been upgraded. They got Zelda a new treehouse so that she can enjoy a nice, fun, awesome treehouse. Oh my goodness, try for baby with goodness gracious. Um, that would be jumping some, jumping some guns, that's for sure. But, so this is the new family household and I'm really excited. And today what we're going to do, oh man, and I love this manor. I foresee a lot of good things. Oh yeah, and then we're gonna probably add a lot more plants in another greenhouse in the backyard. We'll build a custom greenhouse somewhere here in the backyard. Um, like maybe over in this corner, build a nice custom greenhouse and plant a whole bunch of plants out there. Uh, cause I really do need to get a lot of plants planted. But today what we're going to do is actually go and enjoy the fall festival before lovely little Zelda's ba ballet recital, just kind of as a family bonding activity. Cause they don't really know each other very well yet. They just kind of had a love charm cast and had a family thrown together. There we go. There's our wing showing up. Oh, what's going on in here? Oh, that's just the send gift to friend thing. There we go. So their wings are starting to pop out. Let us actually have affection. Actually, they're going to interact with each other. Um, let's, let's see. What do you want to do, sweetie? Wear a costume, play in treehouse. Let's have Zelda go and change into a cute little costume. Transform into a princess. Uh, let's do proper periwinkle. Let's have her change into proper periwinkle for the festival so she can go in costume. And then we're gonna have Gina who wants to study science, which is so cool. We're gonna have so much fun with that. Come up and take on the chore of filling the food bowl for the cats. And Darian, aw, he wants to talk to Cloud. That's so cute. Darian is actually gonna come down and awaken Bonhilda so that we can have her working around inside the house. There we go. Oh, what's going on? Uh, I know Gina's late for work. We're gonna be okay. We're gonna be all right, guys. We're gonna be okay. All right, what's going on with you two? Oh, we gotta take the stairs one at a time, really? Be best friends with soot no star. Oh, 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 no, he awakened her from just out there. Oh, hello, Bonhilda. Hello, oh my gosh. I wonder what she'll do. Like, I guess we can't control her. I've never ever seen Bonhilda in Sims 3 before. So this is this is different. This is definitely different. I'm feeling feeling the difference right here. Oh my goodness. Why well, hi Bonhilda. How are you? <laughs> I think she's a perfect addition though. So much for Gina's attempt at keeping everything normal though. That's that's just blowing normal right out the window for sure. Oh, and then the cats are interacting very well. Looks like they're discussing awesome, awesome fleas or something like that. All right, affection. Let's feed a treat to Soot. How's Zelda doing? Oh, she's so cute, Zelda. You're adorable. Come over here, sweetie. Zelda, do you want to smile at least? Um. Do you want to do I can fly in your fairy dress? Do you want to do I can fly in your fairy dress? Mm -hmm. Is that going to get a smile on oh, you? Look, you're flying. You're flying, fairy princess. Isn't that fun? That has to be fun. That has to make you feel pretty cool. Come on, look at that. That's adorable. That is so cute. Oh my gosh, you're so cute, Zelda. All right, and she wants to play in her costume. We're totally on top of that. We'll do that for just a second. Let's see, play pretend. What do you do when you play pretend, my dear? You're all by yourself. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? I want your hair to be down for it, but that's about it. Oh my goodness, Miss Zelda. Look at that. Wave into the wall, which of course is your, your castle. I see how it is. That is so cute. That is so freaking cute. All right, now what does she want? You have an alchemy station, sweetie. You have a dollhouse. 
Oh, I guess you don't anymore. And she wants to play a fairy trick, improve her photography skill. That is an interesting thing. She like dreams about her photography skill and that's how it changes. All right, so let's actually get the family. No, you have a fine magic wand, Darian. Calm down. Let us get the family, Gina included. What does she want to do? Project Aura of Soothing. Oh, I'm going to have to learn how to do these things with an adult fairy. That is just so cool. All right, we're going to visit the Old Town Square with Darian and Zelda. Let's go. We're going to do this. We're going to have a great family outing day. And then we're going to go and show family solidity and support, solidarity, everyone working together to get to know each other a little bit better, having a fun day here at the Fall Festival. And then going over to, let's see, Gina, where are you? Gina. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna help our Sims out a little bit because they're having some trouble with this. See, this is what figuring out the little the little bumps. Okay, we're gonna take this out. There we go. There we go. No, we're not gonna use it there. Ha, ah, much better. That should help everyone get around a little bit faster. Alright, let's try again. Entire family! We're going to go spend the day. Darren and Zelda. Go. Oh, she's so scared. Oh, she's scared from seeing Bone Hilda. That's adorable. You're gonna be okay, sweetie. All right, how's the family transporting themselves? By car for one person. Is everyone going by car? I love how Gina's like, no, we're not flying. We're not taking the broomstick. We are driving there. I have a nice car just for this reason. She probably needed it because her wings would get so tired. Oh my gosh, that was there fast. <laughs> her wings get would get so tired from where she used to live. Yay! Zelda's on the honor roll! That's wonderful, especially because we missed school today. Alright, let's have some fun! Come on, guys! Alright, face paint! Face paint! Greeting card picture! Um... Yeah! Go Fall Festival! Good! Good! So I think they're gonna have a good day here together. Greeting card picture. Let's go ahead and get that. <gasps> Carve a pumpkin! Oh, I totally want to carve a pumpkin. All right, what about you, Darian? Cast conversion spell on a plantable ingredient. Oh, we got that. We got that. Play with magic. We do that all the time, Darian. Focus. Cast a love charm on Sim. I guess we can work that on Gina again. All right, let's come over and take a greeting card photo with the new family. There we go. All right, everybody. Oh, apparently Apple Nelson was uh, playing something. He's doing a little bit of magic tricks over there. That's cool. What's going on in here? Whoops, I went too fast. Are you guys having fun? That's a great greeting card. You can share this with the community. Yay! So we've got a cute little greeting card. Yay! Um, Let's try entering the apple bobbing contest all together can you not do it sweetie we'll have you watch it oh Gina don't be scared you're gonna be okay Darian conjures these things all the time oh look at her she's so excited do it for the kidlets hey Jamie oh my gosh Chancellor Goodfellow hmm he looks a little bit pale oh Gina Oh my goodness, look at her little face. It's okay, they're just apples. They're not gonna get you. You're gonna be fine, I promise. Oh, she looks so scared, look at her. Gina, you're gonna be okay. Oh, here we go. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. And I love how Zelda's just cheering him on in her little costume from behind. Who's going to win? Oh my gosh, I guess the haunted house is going to be a little hard on Gina. <laughs> oh, but that would be so cute. Oh, she wants Oh my gosh, I think actually bringing home a bunch of snakes would be hard on Gina too. Vault of Antiquity, hmm? That's better than playing a trick on someone. Oh my gosh. How's it going? How's it going? Do we have any winners? Any winners for the apple bobbing yet? Oh, Gina, you had an apple. Why was it not the, the good apple? How is this, how is this determined as, as winning? Dun, 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 dun. Who wins? Just everybody? 
Okay, I guess everybody wins. Oh, Jean just wants to get like her face painted and acquire elixirs. That's so cute. Meanwhile, we have people who want to skate. Oh, Zelda's just gonna sit there and do her homework. Yeah, Zelda, sweetie, it's okay. Oh, wow. We could do homework later. Oh, look at Gina fly. Gina, are you playing a trick on her? <laughs> Gina, you just cast chattering teeth on her. Oh, that's so, that's, you're such a goofball. At least they're joking about it. Okay, so I guess she wasn't upset. That's a good thing. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, so Darian wants to go skate. We'll have her go skate too. Redeem festival tickets. Where can I get the face painted? Um, not you. There's a hay thing here. Where does one get one's face painted? Let's see. Is there a face painting booth? There's a pie eating competition. Hmm. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I thought he was flying for a second. I was like, oh my gosh, he's, so, he's up so high. Well, okay, let's see if we can find a few more things, awesome things to do here at the festival. And then we need to go and have the little ballet thing. So come on, you guys, come back together. It's time to show how you're having a family day, you guys, a family day. In fact, let's have you special fairy, uh, fairy frolic. Go fairy frolic with your, your future daughter. There we go. There we go. Alright, I think this will work out. 